Hi everyone, um, and uh, I just wanted to do a little lesson on the blues shuffle feel um, because uh, I've had some students asking about this actually, and uh, I've uh, uploaded a, a lesson. I've uploaded some tabs for this mm -hmm. to the member area now, um, and uh, what I've done is I've I've just uh, shown you how to divide your bar into 12 notes. That means you're going to play four groups of three notes on every... You're going to play one group of three notes on every beat. That means you'll have four groups of three notes in every bar, thus giving you 12 notes in a bar. So if this is your pulse, four, one, two, three, four, you're going to divide those into three. One, two, three. And that's going to give you the triplet bass, uh, or the 12, what they call it is the 12 8 feel. Or so. Um, so, the first exercise on the tablature is just to play a note and get your right hand going. Okay, so just to practice that and then uh, the next exercise is to take that up um, it's uh, the next exercise I've written in E um, and that is just to put a dead note on every second note so that in each group of three notes you're only accenting the first and the, the third so what you've got is this two three and So all I'm doing there is I'm just releasing pressure on my left hand so that it becomes a dead note. I'm still keeping a constant triplet pattern with my right hand. Okay, so that's what to do there. Now that means now that you have the fundamentals of the shuffle. But now what you need to do is work on stressing the third note of every group of three. So it's going to go like this. One, three, three, three. So the first note is not emphasized, but the last note has more emphasis in each triplet. And then what that does is it gives you more bounce. Okay, um, it doesn't feel so languid. And then after that, you've got tabbed out um, you've got tabbed out a little bass line, uh, which is a kind of typical blues shuffle. Um, so basically, So that's essentially it. Um, I didn't play it exactly as written there, um, but uh, what I did was I gave you, I gave you some uh, of the most common patterns that are used um, in the blues shuffle bass line. So that is it essentially. Um, and what you can do is just use that exercise in this video as a reference um, and just get used to that. 
it's actually much harder than you think. I I used to think, oh, blues, oh yeah, easy, right? But the feel is not it's not as easy as you think because you got. improvised a bit there but uh, the feel of it is it shouldn't be straight it needs to shuffle so if it if you don't weight the notes correctly it doesn't shuffle um, and it's more I think it's more about experience than it is about actually just sitting down and, and trying to weight every note um, it's more about experience and just feeling it so um, I would suggest listen to a lot of uh, blues if you can. You know, get your hands on some Muddy Waters, Howling Wolf, or what have you, BB King. Um, listen to some Robin Ford. Um, all of those guys have great feel. Uh, it's it's pretty simple stuff, but it feels good. So um, and feel is not something that you can. It's not something you can teach, you know, it's just, I can teach you how to listen out for it, I can teach you some of the things to consider when you uh, play for feel, but um, what I'm saying is basically you need to listen and play along. And what I've given you here is just a basis, okay? So anyway, if you have any questions about that, let me know. But. Um, that's essentially it. Alright, see you again for another one.